Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Goldberg, the heroic human jackhammer. So Goldberg is a modern era um, striker, and he has two links. He's got the Masters of the WWE Universe link. Uh, moves that generate any color gem will create two more. And the modern era gems do 5% more damage. He has the one gear, the heroic human jackhammer gear. He is a trainer. At 9k, yellow gems do 2,200 more damage. With these trainers, the lower your guy is, the more valuable they are. The higher the gem damage goes, the closer uh, they come to being equal with the 35% gem damage trainers. At 5-star silver, they're very, very close, with a slight edge going to the 35 percenters typically. Um, it also will depend on your class partly. Uh, that you're equipping them to. And by 5-star gold, the 35 percenters are going to be better. Uh, but at lower levels, these are better. So it's a nice uh, addition uh, for when your your character isn't as leveled. This is this is a lot more, comes in a lot more clutch, we'll call it that way. So uh, it's a different variety of the yellow gem damage trainer. Um, I would want to cover a couple things real quick. Um, Generally, you guys expect certain things from me in a preview. Typically, you expect a decent amount of uh, moves and build sets and stuff. Goldberg is modeled after Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Um, he's a three-year-old card, and a lot of those older cards really only had one viable move set, or at best two. And uh, a lot of times, those move sets don't didn't translate well to the next tier of game. So um, the bad news is there's really only one viable way to run him, especially with the bonuses this month. So I'm going to have one move set for you guys, but I'm going to run it two different ways with two different sets of trainers. Um, so I want to apologize for not having a bunch of move sets. I know that's not my general style, but let's take a look here. The spear uh, deals 48k damage plus 9,600 bonus damage for every immobile gem, and you pin the opponent. Uh, the five-star silver I'm going to be going against has uh, like 1.6 million hit points. That finisher, in conjunction with the, the heroic human press slam, is only going to do like 120k um, damage. It just, it just doesn't cut it. Um, if you're running them at a lower level, though, uh, potentially, if you wanted to run Tricolor, you would run the Heroic Human Spine Buster, the Heroic Human Press Slam, and the Spear Finisher. Uh, if this was a card uh, that was just the, the month long, I would run them just to show you guys the animations. But since you all are going to have this card, you'll be able to see all those animations. So I'm not going to bother running them and waste your time. The Gorilla Press Drop, well, the damage is nice. It destroys nine random silence gems. He doesn't make silence gems, so it doesn't fit into any of the builds. And the full Nelson slam uh, decreases opponent's purple gem damage for 79%. But the move you're going to be the moves you're using to load uh, black moves. Uh, this one you choose purple gems to swap to black, so it just doesn't really fit super well uh, with any of the builds. So that leaves us with this move set here, which is the Duggan build. Um, so that's that's the bad news. Uh, the good news is the month-long buffs are insane for him, so he will be very uh, efficient and good to use this month, and actually fun, because the animations are cool. So that's the good news. You're going to have fun playing him this month. Uh, everyone's going to ask me how high I'm going to take him, and the answer is, unfortunately, probably 4-star gold, because this MLC is super important. Uh, and uh, Steamboat Technician is amazing, and I really want him. Uh, so I'm going to plan on doing everything I can to make sure I max the solo. So I'm going to start out with 4-star gold in mind as we get closer to the end of the month. If it looks like I'm going to be able to max the MLC and recruit Steamboat, um, I, will, I will hold back from that. So most likely I'll get him to 4-star bronze and save resources to make sure I can take him 4-star gold and see how he does for me at 4-star bronze uh, as far as getting me through the MLC. So with all that being said, um, let's get in here and take a look at the moveset we're going to be running.
It's the Heroic Human Jackhammer, 14 black MP, deal 17k damage and choose 4 columns to destroy. Military Press Spinebuster, 8 MP green move, deal 46k damage and choose 7 purple gems to swap to black gems. And the Heroic Human Spinebuster, uh, 7 MP green, deal 35k damage and make 5 random gems into black gems. The first way we're going to run him is going for uh, max gem generation. Uh, because the black gems have gotten such a large buff. Um, so we got um, we got Steel for four more green MP, uh, Titus for four more black gems, um, Lacey for 20% more uh, green and purple gem damage since he's blown up the board. The dual trainer is where I went there. And um, Bree Hall of Fame to give one more black gem. Um, I won't be using her in the next build set. Um, so let's get out here against um, Zombie Taker. I do not have perks. I do have a 60% gem damage strap. You can see it on the left. And Taker is reducing gems by 50%, so it's almost a wash. So uh, people are also going to ask me, and I have been asked, what strap would I put on Goldberg? Uh, the skip or the gem damage? I would, I would do the gem damage to... Uh, take more advantage of his buffs. Um, so I would go gem damage and not skip. Um, so the monthly buff bonus is quite large. It's 2 MP to all moves. Moves that generate color gems create 2 more. Black gems do 50% more damage. And all other gems do 50% more damage. So that means his black gems are doing 100% or double damage. So, black gems are twice the damage they would normally be. Uh, so yeah, you're going to want to run him double fury, and his blacks hit super hard. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Then there's a few different ways you can do this. In this build set, I'm going to do it this way. Um, and I might try it a different way in the other one. You can see, we just did 280,000 damage off of a random, um, a random gem move. <laughs> And Taker couldn't kick out, so he, he's going to be super fun to play this month, guys. That's the good news. Uh, just w when the month goes over, is over, uh, it won't be quite as fun. And that was way too fast. I'm doing that again, because that was way too fast. And the animations on him are, are phenomenal. They're very good. So... He's going to be a lot of fun to play this month, which is all I really care about, because games should be fun. That's a sweet animation. Ooh. Right? I mean, like, 300k on uh, just a... Uh, yeah. So the benefit to doing this this way is now you can leave yourselves a bunch of black gems for uh, destroying the columns. So you can set up your columns with... Uh, pick pick your four with the most uh, black gems in it. So, like, we don't want to break... Mm, we don't really want to break those. Although, actually, we could do some uh, a five match and get some extra damage there. So we'll just do that. Because uh, we have a lot of pin bar to work with. And we have so many um, gems. So let's just do this and make a five match there. Ooh. I guess we didn't have that much pin bar, but uh, that's a heck of a cascade. <laughs> so 720,000 uh, damage there. So again, the buff is crazy. Uh, so you now you throw a 20% gem damage strap this month and double fury. Uh, two words for you for more chaos and uh, the heavy machinery plate would just be to help recycle if you need it um, Yeah Definitely the 20% gem damage strap It's gonna be a fun month using him. So we're gonna run the same thing, but with different trainers um, And this is to to buff the gem damage even more and this is more to use the heroic human jackhammer um, so this you're setting up for blowing up the board more than uh, spamming it with uh, crazy high damage black gems. Um, obviously you can see the first moveset works really well.
So we're going to put Dude Love at 9k. He is a very good trainer. Highly recommend everyone take him to 9k. Black Gems do 35% more damage, and we're going to generate one more. And then instead of Bree, we're going to go with Typhoon. Because we're going to blow up four columns, those red gems will do extra damage for us. You really could use, you could use anyone doing, you could use Afa, you could use Cena, um, anyone doing more gem damage. If you had Boogeyman, that would obviously be the best play. Um, so let's run it again. And again, no tour perks. So uh, once you have plus one MP on a tour perk, both of those will start loaded turn one. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna take black matches because they're gonna a three match will do a bunch of damage. Eighty eighty two K. turn all of these black, um, get our three match right there, and then be able to blow up our columns. Like so. Um, now, we have options here. If I didn't think I was going to keep him down, I could swipe this five match. Um, let's do it just for fun. There we go. Um, and now, um, I could spam this again, but we'll just save that, uh, so you guys can for sure see the jackhammer, because this is a really cool animation, so. This has three blacks and a green, three blacks and a green, those rows are going to be a lot of damage, two and two right here, and also, we buff the reds too, so that's a great row, and then for the last one, let's take this one with a bunch of reds, black, and green. Four hundred and fifty K. Think he's gonna kick out. Nope, he didn't kick out. And actually, I can probably get away with um if you guys hmm. That was really fast. You know what? I changed my mind. Um let's let's look at the other moves. Just Especially the five star one, because a lot of people won't take him five star. So, um, forgive me. I'm gonna go down on the road to Vader just to show you guys those moves. Um, why not? If uh, you'd think I'd know where Vader was at this point, right? He's not in SummerSlam. He's in the Royal Rumble Tour. Alright, let's just... I know I said I wasn't gonna, but... I can't not. It's irritating me while I'm recording this that I wasn't gonna, so let's do the tricolor build. <sighs> um, so we talked about the spear, the heroic human press. Um, the animations are fun, so whatever. You probably won't be using this at all, but that's okay. Uh, I would probably honestly keep the same setup, uh, because I don't have an immobile coach. Um, I don't believe. I don't think we do yet. Yeah, I don't. If there's one in the game, I don't remember who it is, so. Alright, and, uh, you know, we're going to be matching gems and stuff, so. I'm just going to go with this, and uh, instead of Dude Love... 
Um, we could go uh, with two... Let's do this. Uh, you can go with two MP trainers. Uh, he's going to have plus two, though, and with two or perks, you won't need it, so I wouldn't go that way. Um, more mobile gems is maybe not the best. So let's um, put Titus back on, and at least we'll be able to do damage uh, when we match those gems. Quite a lot, because Vader, Vader, Vader doesn't have a strap, so it, it's going to hurt Vader. So I have the red match, so I'm actually just going to take that um, to set up so you guys can see the other moves. And we did 124k on that. Um, so hopefully I don't connect too many black gems here, because it'll probably just knock Vader out. Yeah. Come on, Vader. Cascade King, you can do it. Thank you. You got this. Yes! Thank you, Vader. Okay, now we can see these two moves. Alright. I, I actually haven't I, uh, haven't seen what these look like, so... Because it's so bad. <laughs> what does this one look like? Okay, that's awesome. I'm good with that. And uh, it doesn't really matter what we're going to select here, except I don't want him to be able to cascade out, so we'll take that. And um, yellow isn't a good color for Vader. We'll leave him yellow. We'll leave him blue. And let's get those out of here. I just don't want him to be able to do a four match. And... Okay, let's see what that ends up looking like. So this is not going to hit super hard. Oh, okay, spear, alright. Oh, he kicked out. Don't take my green. Aww. He hits so hard with the buffs, though. It's kind of crazy. And I'll just run triple black uh, with two black uh, with black MP uh, trainers, so you guys can see the five star move. I'll do that after this. got a green match. We're in business now, guys. Vader doesn't have a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. That's a pretty cool spine buster animation, too. Wow, I missed everything. That was impressive. On the plus side, we get to do, we get to see the animations again. So let's do it. Yeah. And a spear. Okay. Let me toss, let me toss the, we'll do triple black. I totally lied. And we're gonna end up doing three builds anyway. And seeing all of his moves. I mean, I could edit all that out, but I feel like it's more fun to just leave it since I changed my mind in the middle of a preview.
And actually, let's not go triple black. Let's do it this way. And hope we don't put Vader... I might have to run it twice, but we'll go this way. That actually makes more sense. And then we'll do this. And just to fill the moves faster, let's put Elias on there. Um, this is probably not necessary, but that's okay. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. This is what happens on the first Monday of the month when it's after midnight and I'm still trying to do my previews. Crazy stuff happens, guys. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yep. I don't think even the Cascade King's gonna kick out of that. Alright, we'll, we'll do it again real fast. Uh, maybe I should take, um... Yeah, no, maybe. I should take... I gotta take, um, Titus off. We'll just do it this way. Alright. Hey, this is the move we haven't seen yet. Full Nelson Slam. That, okay. Not as cool as his other moves. Alright. We don't have to worry about purple gem damage, though, guys. We're in the clear. So, uh... This is Goldberg. It's He's going to be really fun for this month. Uh, so I actually probably will use him a lot because it's Goldberg and it, it's fun. Uh, after this month, <clears throat> he will sit on the shelf until requirements for Motu Goldberg. Um, hopefully this helps you guys with the builds. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all of his moves. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, I'm looking forward to a really fun uh, Motu month. And I hope you guys are too. I'm all in on Steamboat, um, and highly recommend trying to get him. So thanks for watching this preview, guys, and good luck out there.